This is jrun.net and today we're going to show you how to dismantle and upgrade the new version of the Dell Mini 10V, which is the 1018. It's very similar to the dismantling of the 1012, there's just a few small differences, but we'll go ahead and uh, get started here. First thing you want to do, of course, is push these to the right to like snap and remove the battery. Remove these three screws to get the keyboard out first. The easiest way to get the keyboard out is take a small little screwdriver and stick it in the hole where you took one of the screws out. Just kind of pop, push it through. So push it enough to where you can actually grab it here. See right there? Get your finger in there. And then from here, it's kind of, and there's going to be a little clip on the left and the right here holding it in. There's one there and one there. So you take the keyboard pull it out slightly and bend it back. Then what we need to do is remove this ribbon cable here. You simply push this way on this little gray piece and that little gray piece, like so, and do it very carefully. You don't want to use your screwdriver and jab the key, the motherboard here. So you just pull them out about like that. And then the ribbon cable should just slide right out. So now here's one of the minor differences between the uh, 1018 and the 1012. What you can see here is with the uh, the 1012, uh, at this point, remove this screw, take the cover off, and you have access to the memory. But that's not the case in the 1018. We need to continue removing the palm rest to get under this little memory door. So let's continue here. To remove the hard drive, you just simply take this one screw here, then grab the pull tab that way, and pull out the cage here. Next, we have to remove the uh, palm rest assembly. First, start out by removing these three screws. There's one here, one there, and one here. And that. With the screws removed, flip it back over. And now we need to remove a few more ribbon cables. The one for the touchpad here, and the one for the display. Now, the cable for the touchpad is slightly different. You just simply take this piece here and flip it up. And then you can grab the pull tab here for the cable, like so, and just simply pull it out like that. Then we have the cable, which I believe is for the power button, or whatever it is. Just kind of pull from either this tab, if you have fingernails even, you can grab the actual white part of the connector there, cables, and then pull that out. And now we have three more screws to remove. It'll be this one here, this one, and that one. Probably the easiest way to actually remove the touchpad thing now is to uh, get a credit card. Try to loosen up this side here first by like getting your finger under here, kind of pushing up on it. So it got a little loose like right there. So now I'm going to take my card here and slide the corner in like that. Just a little bit. And then I'll just kind of slide it up and down to break it free from all the little clips and snaps and whatnot. Go all the way around. All the way up. So now you should be able to lift it up a little bit, like this. And along the edge here, it's still snapped in. So what you're going to need to basically do is keep pushing it up until it snaps. It may seem like it's going to break, but it should be fine. Like I said, it may feel like you're going to break it, but as long as you did all the screws I've told you about, it'll be alright. So now this is removed, you now have access to the motherboard. So at this point, now you can actually remove the memory and upgrade it. Just take these two tabs and push them apart until it pops up like that. Kind of wiggle it free until it's out, and then get your new stick and put it in. Uh, also at this point, you have access to everything else. Uh, if you order the laptop without any additional features like the Bluetooth, the accelerator card, etc., you will most likely not have the, the plug or the, the header, whatever you want to call it, to add it. However, if you did, when you ordered it, it gives you the ability to change out the Bluetooth or HD accelerator card. But if you had the option, it would be uh, in this area here. Uh, with that done, how to remove the display in case you need to, to do that as well. There are just a few more screws that you got to lift out as well as the display cable and the power for it. And the first thing you need to do is remove this little thing here they call the middle cover and start out by removing these two screws here. With these screws removed here, you basically just gotta pry it out. I think there's about three clips about 
right there. So take your credit card again, and if you're lucky, you can kind of squeeze it in there. And if you're not, you may just need to pull out your, preferably a plastic scry, basically a plastic flat tip screwdriver, but I don't have one. So I'm going to use a metal one, which will probably rip up the plastic, but you can actually use that to get up enough room. Put a credit card in there, and then simply slide it all the way down. Here it snaps, so there's one, two, and then a third snap around here. There we go. So now with that loose, you simply take it, wiggle it out somehow. It can be a little bit of a pain, but you can see there's these little four clips here. I guess count these two here as well. So you need to kind of like wiggle out. So we've got that. Now there's one screw, can't miss it, so we'll go ahead and remove this. So now with that screw and the middle cover removed, we need to open back up the display. So open it all the way which is about there. So now we'll turn it over here. So now with the display open, we need to remove two cables. One is the display cable, and the other is the mini card for the Wi-Fi antennas. We'll start out here by removing the cable for the display. Get the little edge of the cable here, the little white little tip right there on either side. You can kind of use your fingernail or your little screwdriver and just kind of use that to take it out. So as you can see, I'm grabbing hold of these two little edges of the cable, push it out, and then just kind of like that. And now we need to remove the cables from the mini Wi-Fi card here. If you have tape, just kind of pull that back, and you kind of pull the cable like this. Remember, white, black. And now we need to unroute the cable from all these little routing holes. Just kind of pull it out from all these little crevices and until it's loose at the very end. Make sure this is loose here. So now there's actually two more screws you need to remove. There's one right there and one right there. And these are the final two holding on the display. So let's go ahead and remove these. And while, as you're removing these screws, you may want to use your other hand and kind of hold the palm, the uh, display so it doesn't just pop out. It should be loose and all you need to do now is kind of pull up to remove it. So you have the display. Now if you want to further take apart the display, uh, these two screws here, there's little uh, rubber fillers here you need to kind of pry out. And they are sticky. Then you now have access to the two screws. Now you want to uh, gently start prying off the edge here from the top, from the inside. Go along prying it around the edges. But I am just basically kind of ripping it right off. With any luck, you won't have broken any of the clips. It looks like mine worked out alright. It's hard for me to try to remove the cable first, like the manual recommends, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, four screws here first. So with the four screws removed, you can kind of start to take off the actual screen. There is some sticky tape on the bottom here, so you may need to kind of wiggle that free and the hinges may get caught underneath the bezel. But once you get it kind of loose, you can kind of get it, start pulling it away here. And the way to remove the cable from the webcam by simply just kind of pulling on the cable here and pulling it straight that way. So I'm just taking it here and wiggling it free until it comes out. And now the display is free from the bezel. And if you want to actually replace the entire screen, you simply need to take the cable and pull it out as well as remove these screws on either side to remove the uh, brackets, two there and two here, and then you can replace the screen. And this is Darren.net, and this is how you dismantle and upgrade the uh, latest Dell Mini 10V, which is the 1018. Feel free to view my next video for putting it all back together, and check out the site for a uh, full detailed breakdown.